Grand Rising, y'all. It's your boy Patrick Black. We're about to do a road trip. My boy is with me. My brother's with me. Unfortunately, he's tired. And he don't want to see his face right now because he's tired, just like I am. I've been up since 5:45. Um, and I've been early up in the morning. Had to make sure I get my regular routine in by meditating, listening to Shaolin Master, and getting myself ready, occupied, uh, making this road trip. This road trip is going to be successful. I have a feeling for it. And it's going to go see Mama Dukes, see the family, and go from there. If you guys want to see everything, like if you go ahead and subscribe, if you haven't subscribed, uh, also, uh, everything is going to be in the description box as well. Like and share. And we're going to get this road trip on the road. Making a nice pit stop. I am getting some gas. Going to make sure to buy some oil for my car too as well. So when I get halfway, I'm going to put that bad boy in. Just making sure I get myself right for this big ass adventure I'm going to have. And I am ready to make this happen. I have purchased the oil for my car. So going back and forth, just wanna make sure that I put in the oil for my car. I have to look it up and everything and make sure I have the right oil for the car and the engine itself. And yeah, about to pop some gas in this bad boy and we're ready to go. Get this thing going. It's gonna be road trip time. And yeah. We got like a whole couple hours, you feel me? So we just gonna make this bot real quick. Real, real quick. It's like what's bubble for? Yeah, we in Naples right now. Um, yeah, we took this. This is the first time I'm taking this way. Um, they had me on the regular road, and then I got a hip on, hop back on I-75. Yeah, so it's gonna take us a nice, nice little way. Um, yeah, we, we like we're not even close to four miles. Yeah, you did. So it's gonna be a nice little drive actually because one i don't have a sun pass in florida and you know it was like a spare moment like i said i didn't really plan these things or i never had like a a real initial plan of really driving and having my car out here but uh um i was thinking about getting a rental at one point but i was like you know what let's just make the drive and just let it happen i just want to honor my word and my commitment I'm so big on my word and I just want to make sure I see my mom because I haven't seen her in a long time since I've been here from Czech Republic so and my family so we are on our way right now it's a nice little mission you want to see all the grass and the nature out here it's very beautiful you know how I feel about nature so I just love nature are we there yet I don't know are we I don't know uh, uh. Huh? I don't even know where the hell we at, but it says Bernerton. And uh Bernerton Yo, there's a fucking Confederate flat yo! Oh. What the fuck? Hey! Yo, we are uh, <laughs> we 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 up the street races uh, man I oh I can't even talk straight but I'm talking fluid right now. But yeah. Yeah, it's crazy out here. Well you you are in the west side of Florida, so you're gonna see things like that. Hey you <laughs> No, being serious though. <laughs> even when I was in Naples when I went to school out here, they have a lot of Confederates. But I'm not gonna even go talk down about that anyway, but at the end of the day, you're gonna see a lot of those things on the west side, either further north or the south. So that's what they believe in and all peace, these things. Peace River. Yeah, we come in peace. Just to let y'all know. We come in peace. 
I'm not that peaceful, but yeah. Well, I'm, I am. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about all that. I, I'm peaceful. I'm a lover, not a fighter. Now, don't don't get me wrong. I'll put my paws on you now, but I, I'm just not. I'm not doing that. I just I'm more peaceful now. I'm not. I'm not into that whole violence. I can get violent when I need to. I don't need to. I just love life. I'm peaceful. I have a full abundance and love. I create a lot of love. You understand? Yeah, I think I saw a mountain lion. Oh yeah? Yeah. You wanna go out there and go get it? We are about 30 minutes away from our destination. Gotta get some gas so I can actually head to the crib. My mom is already at work, so I'm waiting for her to come home. People already know I'm on my way over there. So, yeah, just going ahead and get my little, get my gas and head out, man. You know what I'm saying? I look kind of crazy, don't I? I still look good, though. I can't, I can't be black nowhere. I can't, I, I, I just can't. I can't be, you know, no, 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 scratch it. I can't be light skin nowhere. I can't be light skin nowhere. I, I can't live. No, you can't live. I have made it to my destination safely and great. And now I'm going to ring this doorbell to see my peoples, my family. And look at this guy. Look at this guy. Justin. That's Justin. You done? Are you done now? You mad? You mad though? You seem like you mad. Sasha. Why are you mad? I want, I want this guy now. <laughs> I want this guy. Yeah. Yeah. We're about to go ahead and shop. I don't need shop. I'm gonna get some fruits. You feel me? I gotta get some fruits. About to have an eating show with a special guest. And my brother look like a look like a yo, mop. Yo, say, say some shit. Say some shit I don't like. He look like a mop. He he mop and glow. He mop and glow. Grand rising, y'all. I know it's a large gap of the storyline, but uh, went to the grocery store. I cook for my mother, my grandmother, and my aunt, and my cousin. Um, fortunately, my mom was working. She worked when she came home for three hours. So I told her I was gonna cook, so I cooked for them. Right now I am, it's early in the morning. My brother's still sleeping. I am going to still fix my face, you feel me? Because, your boy, they looking ashy as heck. So I have to make sure my skin is on point. You dig? See, look, I got one bump right here. Oh no, that's gonna go, baby. I can't have that. But, uh, I look good. I feel good. My mom's right now is working. Uh, my teeth look amazing. I'm gonna show y'all some pictures. Give me one second. This is a picture of me. Yeah, I know I was handsome, don't I? Look at me, look at me. Handsome boy. This is my first um, commercial pamper sailor suit. <laughs> yeah, I was a little kid. I kind of like remember a little bit of it, but not too much. So do I still look the same? Look. You look so happy. <laughs> my mama. Yeah, I'm gonna show y'all. This is my mom's. When she was about, mm, I will say 20s. She was in her 20s. Like, yeah. this is my high school football picture so I transfer schools and I was playing against my old school Flanagan High School I went to West Broward yeah I remember that game that game I had to like show everything what I got 
when I transfer, but it was a really great game. I enjoyed it. This is my baby cousin you guys met on the eating show. Um, they look alike, don't they? My mom and her. I feel like that's my mom daughter, but uh, <laughs> yeah, they look alike. That's so much. I used to take care of her. She used to be in my arms when she was a little kid. I was like, uh, damn, I would say like 12. Yeah, she grew up. Yeah, she grew up so big. Yeah, I remember. I remember all those memories. Yeah. Pages. I used to remember this face. Yep. <laughs> she was in the fourth grade, 10 years old. Oh my God. It's crazy how time flies. More of my beautiful mother, obviously. She was a model. <laughs> she was a model. Um, that's what she always do. She was always loved. I remember this picture because we were in Miami. We were living in Miami during this time. Yeah, this is back then. I was a bad little kid, man. I was bad. I was very respectful. And um, yeah, just all these memories. It's really good. Very great memories. It's always good to go back and check out my roots. One of the toughest thing you have to do when you say goodbye to your mother, um, it's really tough. I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, I really do miss her, but you know what I'm saying? Like, I know that I'm doing everything for myself that I can actually contribute for her. Um, I will miss her a lot. It's one of those things that a lot of my opportunities that's coming for me, I can't really speak about. And seeing her, how she works, how, how hard she works from working, coming back from vacation, working her regular schedule. Also, not only working a regular schedule and working another additional three hours. I was like, nah, man, I, she works very hard. Very, very, very hard. And um, I'm like super inspired by that. And I can see where I got my grit from and how very ambitious she is. Very ambitious. And it gave me a new fun of, a new motivation to keep going and keep pushing forward for myself. And I'm very like, very grateful to see that. I literally stopped to go ahead and go to the gas station and put some gas in my car. I'm almost halfway home anyway. But uh, my brother got to use the bathroom. I don't know what he's doing. Literally, he's in the back of the corner right now trying to use the bathroom. I finally made it to my destination and I'm at Firestones. I'm waiting on this rain to stop so I can go ahead and get Felicia oil change and everything. Honestly, I already gave it uh, Felicia some engine oil uh, thing for it. That little thing bobber. So I just want to make sure I get a full oil change for my car. And um, because I'm going to be leaving in the next couple of days. And I'm going to have the lovely pets with me. And we're going to head back home. So that's going to be a nice little adventure. You get what I mean? So that is going to be my next thing right now. So I'm waiting on this ring to stop and go ahead and do what I gotta do. And I got my brother with me. He's right there. He's been a butthole right now. I ain't doing nothing, man. You see, I can't be light-skinned. I can't be light-skinned without getting attention. I guess you ain't light-skinned. <laughs> I'm just joking. You are light-skinned. Oh, well. Felicia is good and good and brand new, actually. With the oil change, now I'm out to head home. Uh, man, today was a long freaking day, a long journey. But uh, I'm glad I kept my word. It was nice to hang out with family. I know it's tomorrow. I want to see what's gonna, what tomorrow got handed for me, and go from there. But until next time, y'all. Love.